Hello, hello, hello. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we will compare these four sensors and we have a look at the new IKEA door window sensor. Now, let's open the box and see what we put inside. So we get a user manual with a QR code my guess is for the same manual or on the internet if you don't want to take this. Now this comes in several languages. Okay, so there's nothing in here really. This is just... Okay, so... Let's see what is in here. English, the first page. English. Declaration of Conformity. That's it. This is the money. No scratchy hair, no nothing. But well, I guess you have to scan the QR code. Anyway, now this is the sensor, right? And this is the magnet that goes in on the door. Now, you see this has like a little notch in here. You see like a cutout, right? It has to match with the LED on this one. So when you fit it on the window, it has to be something like this, right? We'll see in a minute if what happens if you put it the other way around, but at least for the design point of view, you have to put it this way. Anyway, so let's take the mag magnet away and let's have a look at all of them. Now, this is the Nuki one. This is the Xiaomi, this is the Akara, and this is the new IKEA one. Out of the four, I think that the IKEA one is the cheapest one. I think it's about eight euros or something, eight, nine euros, maybe ten, I don't know. Then we have the Xiaomi one, which pretty much is the same price. Then we have the Akara one, and then we have the Nuki one, which is the most expensive of four. Now, if we put them on the side, let's put them from the thickest to the thinnest. I think this is what they go. So these are pretty much the same size, but this is taller, right? So let's put them first on the side, like this. So you see the Xiaomi one is the slimmest Akara, and these two I think they're the same so thickness. Now, if we put them like they yeah they the same put them like this now I don't know if you can see them you see the the IKEA one is the slimmest then we have the Xia only one, Akara and the Nuki. So this uses okay, let's see what bottle is this. CR1632 battery. I guess this is the same battery. Now this battery is widely available. This one is a CR1632, so this is thicker. Now this one is using a three point six. The code number is ER14250. Okay, we got them. Okay, so this is the battery. Now, this battery is more expensive than the other ones. And this one, I think, is using an AAA battery. So, to open it with the finger on one of this side, you see, one of this side or the other side, you take this out. Now this is the part that will stick on the uh, the door. 
you see you've got like a hole in here in case you wanna screw it instead of glue it now in here we have the pairing button and we have the door where the battery goes so it's nice that the battery is actually covered by this cover sometimes the battery moves a little bit and stop making connection so let's take this out All right. Ooh, this has like a gasket in here so this could even be waterproof this button as well is rubbery so when you put this on top it stops the water coming in so this is rubbery and this I'm not sure if you can see it you see it's got a gasket in here okay? this is a rubber gasket in here which is nice in case you want to put it outside again now the battery is a AAA battery 1.5 volts and the battery is not included not surprising for the 9 euros this cost now let's close the battery compartment so right. now we're not going to put it back in so this is for the to stick it on the window right let's give it aside be a fair competition with the other ones now you see when you open or you close this little light in here lights up so when you close it it lights one time when you open it it flashes twice once to close twice to open now let's see if we reverse this magnet with the notchy thing on the uh, opposite sides of the led does it still work well, it's not working anymore you see so my guess is that the magnet okay so this is not magnetic only this bit in here is the magnet this is the magnet the magnet is up to like here so the magnet okay from here on up to like here you see up to here is the magnet from here is nothing so you have to put this with the to match with the light right otherwise it's not going to work but you can use any magnet you want so let's try with this one it doesn't have to be you see any magnet will do so if you have like a little small magnet you want to use you see well this is not magnet let's see with these ones is this a magnet yeah, this is a magnet, but it's not powerful enough. Yeah, so it has to be like a, a, a decent magnet. So we established that this has to be like that. My guess is they could have cut it like the Akara or the Xiaomi or even the Nuki. On the Nuki one, the, the magnet is really tiny, square tiny. I think it, it makes it look weird with that little magnet is like half of this my guess they left it the same size for the design or for the look of it we'll see in a minute that it actually looks really good it looks when you see it in the shelf like big like that you're like man I'm sure they could have done a better job designing this like this one but since the battery comes all the way up to here the all the electronic is in here so they could have easily fit it in a smaller case but they didn't want to fit it in a smaller case because they wanted to use a regular battery and they also use this door with a gasket to make it more waterproof so this is nice 
Now, let's go to the computer, right? And let's see how we can add this on the Home Assistant and if it's even working. We are in Home Assistant now. Let's now to pair it. All you have to do is if you're using Zigbee to MQTT, you press permit and then you have to press the pairing button four times within five seconds. One, two, three, four. Once you press four times within five seconds, this start flashing a few times and let's see. If you check out in here on the corner, Home Assistant detected. And let's see if it's installing it. Okay, so it's already here. I think it's this one. Right? Okay. So we have information about the device. Last seen. Not available because we just connected. It's a enabled device. You can disable it. It's an end device because it's battery powered. This is the name and model. This is the manufacturer description. If it's supported or not. This is the address, network address, firmware firmware ID, manufacturer, battery level, and interview state. If you're not sure how to pair it, you go to the Zigbee NQTT, Zigbee to NQTT, and in here you have information about it. Now, let's go back in here, and if we go to Exposes, you see it's open now. Expose, so closed, open, closed, open closed open closed open closed open closed now one thing i like about it if you add a bunch of these the sensors and you haven't if you have not renamed them and you have them with the id of the sensor you have this identification thing here you see and you start flashing so you know which one it is now if you go to one of the let's go to one of this Akara one for example you see there's no identification now if we go to the which one should we go which one should we go should we go to one of the old Xiaomi one Akara, Akara, let's go to one of the old Xiaomi one. You see there's no identification either in here. So if you so this was the video. If you like it, please leave it a like, subscribe. If you want to comment, please comment in the comment box below. Thank you and goodbye.